Have you ever realized after uploading a video to YouTube, there was actually an error in the video edit? It could be that you've gone back and checked the video yourself or one of your viewers kindly pointed out the mistake. Whatever it was, you've already achieved hundreds or thousands of views and you don't wanna necessarily lose those views, likes and comments, which we all know go a long way into feeding into the YouTube algorithm. So if you wanna avoid completely deleting your video and re-uploading, when you're in this situation. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to perform a very quick edit using the YouTube Creator Studio. Now, this isn't going to suit everybody. If you've had a video where you wanna completely change the arrangement and the order of scenes within the timeline, you wanna add new overlay, you wanna change the audio altogether, you simply can't do this in the YouTube Studio. That is a much more complex edit then YouTube will allow. So you are going to need to delete it, re-edit and upload, and unfortunately you'll lose all those views. But for those of you that just have a small section of video in the intro, somewhere along the timeline in the outro, even if you've been flagged for a copyright violation where you have an audio track in your intro, for example, or any other reason that you wanna delete a small section of the video, then this tutorial is gonna help you achieve that without losing any of those precious views. So without any further delay, let's get started and take a look at how to edit your video in the YouTube studio. So in order to get into the YouTube studio, head over to your own channel page and click on the YouTube studio button just below the banner. Click on the videos tab on the left hand side and then you'll see all of your videos in the upload section. So I'm going to click on the latest video that I just created which was how to create a green screen using DaVinci Resolve. I'm gonna click on the edit tool. So click on the editor button on the left, and then you'll see your video appears with a preview window in the top section. You can press play in order to preview that video, and you can use the scroller in the thumbnail section to navigate to any part of that video. So for example, if I wanted to clip the end of that video, which I actually realized after uploading contained a very small section of video that really shouldn't have been there. All I would need to do is to drag the play bar across to the point that I wanna start editing. So that's just when the final logo element appears. And then I'm going to select the trim option. Then I'm going to select the split option on the bottom of the screen. Then I'm going to drag across from that first handle that was created to the second trim point so that it becomes colored in gray. And that is the section that will be removed from the video. Now let's suppose there were additional sections of the content that I wanted to delete. I can simply repeat that procedure. So let's suppose I wanted to cut out a section within the intro. All I need to do is drag the playhead to the point that I wanna start the edit, let's say around here, tap on split, and then I can simply drag the marker along as far as I need to in order to cut out that section. So let's suppose I wanna take it to around the 154 mark. I can now preview that video by placing my timeline marker just before the cut, clicking on play, and then it immediately jumps to that next section. So if I was going to repeat that in the middle of the video somewhere, again, just as a reminder, I'll place the marker on the timeline where I wanna start the edit, tap on edit trim, tap on split, and then drag that point along to the out point of the cut, click on preview, place my playhead just before that point, click on the play button, and I've just previewed my second cut. So as you can see, I've edited out three sections of video in this timeline, and provided I'm happy with that edit, all I need to do is click on the save button on the top right hand corner to save those changes down. You'll get a message saying that the video is currently being processed and that it could take a couple of hours 
for those edits to go live. So come back and check your video in the front end just to make sure everything looks fine after you've given it some time to process. And that's all you need to do to cut out sections within your YouTube video. And whilst we're in here, let's just have a quick look at the other options available to us in the video editor. You'll see a audio icon, which allows you to edit the audio in that video track. And by clicking on this option, you can add or replace audio in your video. YouTube has commissioned thousands of royalty-free songs for use in videos. You can add these songs to your video using the tool below. Now keep in mind, this is a very limited feature, which simply replaces your existing audio track with a YouTube royalty-free music track. So if you wanted to replace it with one of your own voiceovers or, or something else you've created locally on your computer, you can't actually do it in this section. And the other two options we have are to add an end screen. So this is something that we've you've probably seen before in the Creator Studio. And then you can choose to add a video and select any of the other videos in your library, a playlist, a subscribe button, some channel info, a link to a website, and even merchandise if you have that set up on your channel. And the final option we get in the editor is the ability to blur out faces or objects in the video. Now this is important if, again, you've been pulled up for a copyright strike of some sort, if you've had complaints about a video containing, it might be, for example, a number plate on a car, it could be someone's face that didn't want to appear in a video, and again, you found out after the fact, then you can come into the YouTube studio and put a blur over that offending media and that allows you to keep your video active without losing the views. So for example, if I wanted to add a blur to my face, I would click on the blur faces option, edit, and YouTube will automatically detect the face in the scene and blur my face anytime it appears in the video. That's gonna take some time as it is a complex process, but that's all you need to do to blur out a face. And if you want to blur out an object, click on the custom blurring tool, navigate to an object in the scene, drag a box around it, and you can even create multiple blur points here. And you can extend the blur for those objects across the timeline by dragging the bars left and right in the timeline window. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. If you did, hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel so that you're notified of up and coming video releases. And as always, if you've got any questions about the content you've seen today, feel free to put those questions in the comments box below. See you on the next one. Bye for now.